Okay, so welcome to Math Story. Yeah. And for this problem, so find the standard equation of the hyperbola which satisfies the given conditions. Then we have this the center that's negative 10 and negative 4 in one corner of auxiliary rectangle at negative 1 and positive 12. Then with horizontal transverse axis. Since the transverse axis is horizontal, so therefore this hyperbola is a horizontal hyperbola. And standard equation for the horizontal hyperbola, that's x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared then equals 1. And to find the value for h, k, a, and b, so from this given, we need to graph this hyperbola. So in a plane, this one is x, negative x, positive y, and negative y. And from the given coordinate of the center, so x is negative 10. So this one is negative 10 for x, and y is negative 4. So this is negative 4 for y. Then to find now the point of the center, so you connect. So this is now the point for the center. And for this one corner of auxiliary rectangle, so x is negative 1. So that's negative 1 for x. y is positive 12. So this one is positive 12 for y. Then you connect to find the point of this auxiliary rectangle. So this is now the point for this one corner of auxiliary rectangle. Then from this graph, so we need to create a rectangle connected with the center and this one corner of auxiliary rectangle. So this is now the rectangle. Then take note that that point align with the center and this one corner of auxiliary rectangle are the covertex and the vertex. But since this hyperbola is horizontal, so therefore the vertex is in horizontal position. So from this graph, this point is the vertex in horizontal position with the center and this point is co vertex. Then to solve for h and k, so from the center, so h is negative 10 and k is negative 4. Then to solve for a, so a that's from center to vertex. So therefore, from the center to vertex, this one is A. So we need to count. And in counting, you start counting on the next point. So from this point, start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So therefore, A is equal to 9. Then to solve for B, so B, that center to covertex. So therefore, from this covertex to the center, so we need to count and again in counting you start counting on the next point so from this point we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so therefore b is equal to sixteen then since we have now the four values, the h, the k, the a, and the b, 
So we can write now the standard equation using this formula. So we have x minus h and h is negative 10. Then to the power 2 over a squared and a is 9. So we have 9 squared then minus y minus k and k is negative 4 to the power 2 over b squared and b that's 16 so 16 to the power 2 then equals 1 then simplify so we have x then this double negative that's positive that's 10 then to the power 2 over this 9 squared that's 81 then minus y double negative that's positive so plus 4 then to the power 2 over this 16 squared so 16 squared that's 256 so over 256 then equals 1 so this is now the standard equation of this hyperbola